seen. Man, I'm telling you. You had to take the, the whole exhaust off to, to do the oil change, and then you had to put a whole different exhaust on. That's how it works. I didn't, I didn't even know that. So on, on, on Camaro, or not Camaro, on Chevy SS's, when you do an oil change, you got to take the whole exhaust off and then replace it with a Corsa. Every time, huh? Every time, Ray? Every time. Every time. So you, you heard it here first, Ray said that. That's the number one check. So, anyways, um, I'm on the phone talking to Bear Brakes about the Chevelle and Christian's uh, first gen. Um, on the phone with Legging Filter and Palmer Signs trying to figure out the deal with this joint. Um, and Ray is doing the, the, the breaking oil change and once over on our boy Jose's V2 Coupe. He's getting right. Where the fuck are you moving? South Carolina? This dude's going from Vallejo to South Carolina talking about a way completely uh, way of living difference. God damn it. But anyways, y'all see in the video in a second. We're going to banner the car up. Um, he came and picked it up at like 10 o'clock on like a Sunday or some shit on. Huh? Yeah. It was crazy and, and, and I forgot to fucking put the banner on. But uh, you're going to see a sad speed banner out there in South Carolina. So y'all be on the lookout on the East Coast for that. Um, and, and we're out at LS Fest East next year. And every time we're on the East Coast, at least we have a car out there. So... It's gonna be lightweight, lightweight, uh, a good thing, man. So, stay tuned. Alright, so every once in a while I'll put the camera down and help out a little bit where I can. So, right here I'm working on Walter's wiring harness for his new setup. So, right now I'm just going to show you guys uh, pretty much my process of what I go through to make this look, you know, somewhat better. Better than the factory loom and electrical tape. But we figured we'd tighten it up since uh, he's getting some goodies that we can tuck the wires away. Shit's gonna look nice. Hello. What's up, dog? You? No, it's all good. Yeah, what day, what day do you want? Uh, yeah, let me call. Let me call in there. I'll call you right back. That could be the karate kid. I got it. I got it. Give, give me about 10, 15 minutes. All right. So what do you got going on today, Ray? <laughs> Another day of slavery. Another day of slavery. So we fired our camera guy. He was fucking trash. Get the fuck out the goddamn video, dude. Record this nigga. He's fucking trash. So we fired the camera guy. Got me behind the camera now. Raise our slave. Slave. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the screen go black, camera guy? All right, fire it again. Huh? Cass, what are you doing? Behind that beard, there is no chin. No chin. <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you fold towels? 
Rare footage of Sleepy not being an asshole. <laughs> Rare footage. Look, he's playful. <laughs> he a whole different nigga right here that y'all don't ever see. Aww. <laughs> oh, shit. Take your fucking camera. See, and then the fucking the Corvette's gonna be easy. It's gonna come straight up all the way down yeah. the down pipe. Yeah, we're about to do that. I think we're gonna powder coat that too. Black. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, just give me a holler. About ten, and I'll see what I can find. Yep. <clears throat> just get a, get a couple parts out of Yeah. I think I might have a couple fittings, like four inch aluminum. Okay. I don't think I have enough to do it. So. Okay. I got stainless like motherfucker then. If so you want to do, yeah, if, you if need I can't to. find the aluminum, we'll do stainless. But then I don't have the stainless. Boom. Oh, uh, yeah. I may have one, so we'll get something. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you make the call, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, I cool. think it'd probably be if you're not gonna polish it and shit. Might as well just throw the aluminum in there. Yeah, we're gonna powder coat it. And then the the, uh, the vet he went and put he went and had a high rise gold plated. Yeah. So now the high rise <laughs> gold plated. I think yeah. we need to do the downpipe black to keep the black and gold thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's dope as fuck. It's, it's crazy. So you figure valve covers, blower, high rise to the Holly throttle body. I'm sorry, Nick Williams. And then down all black. It'll be dope. Yeah. It'll be dope. So, it's uh, what's it Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday, uh, six o'clock. 
pretty much will shut down for the day. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough to this motherfucker, man. We've been kind of busy uh, the last two weeks trying to get ready for tunes. So I'm getting ready to start traveling again. I did not go to uh, LS Fest East because it just wasn't the right move for us. Cash was sick. Um, and, and, and for us to shut the shop down for a week to go because it wasn't good. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> so, anyways, he thinks we're playing right now. Um, let's walk over here. This is uh, Manny's uh, LS3. Cam Dillis 3 4 Lady Swap fucking Trailblazer that we've been working on for a while. I swear a fitting here, I put a thing here, a thing there. It's been a fucking pain in the ass, but it's finally done. We had our buddy Brad from uh, American Iron Customs come out today to look at all the cars that we're going to have uh, him work on. He's got six cars in the building right now that's going out there. This is going to be the first one. Um, and Drizzy uh, with the black uh, all gold uh, supercharger top end. Um, his C6Z is going there too. This is going Thursday, Drizzy's going Friday. This is Ivan's fucking LS3 uh, six-speed uh, Camaro. It's a 98, so of course 98 problems, you know, 98, 98 problems, but a fucking bitch ain't one. <laughs> That's what we should say about these damn 98s. I swear we're done with fucking head bodies on 98, 98 head body swaps. The last, th I think, three big swaps were 98s. Yeah. And it's a bitch and a half. So this has been fired. It's ready to go. He's got probably about a day of uh, finish work on it. Put the suspension back together and start driving this thing. We're ready to go. This is our boy Tony, L Cam Dallas 3 that we did about a year ago. Um, his 4L70 took a shit. So we decided to, he decided to do a, a rebuild and, um, a, uh, and a torque converter. So to try to fucking make it a little bit longer while he saves up for his 4L80. So James is finishing that up. That thing should be driving in the next hour or so. Come on, dude. Over here, we got Logan Palmer's uh, 2019 ZR1. You guys saw a fucking few weeks ago, we went to, bro, we, we uh, sent the heads out to Frankenstein, did a cam job, fully built this car. Um, I will say this, I'm not gonna sit here and say what the issue was because we all know what, what it was, but this fucking car is the exact reason why I don't like doing remote tuning. I do not like, uh, I do not like having people come here and then say, I got my tune lined up somewhere else. There's discrepancies every fucking time. Um, as soon as it fired, we heard it, 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 the tune was off. We shut it down, um, sent it back, sent it back to file, and, and, and it started smoking. So um, we can't do anything about tune issues if our tuners aren't tuning it. The good thing about this, go. One, two, three, go. The good thing about this car, the good thing about this car is, uh, the customer is a business partner of ours. They made the call on the tune. They made the call on, on the parts. We just facilitated the labor. We went we went over all, all, all the work. We know it, we, it was, wasn't on us. They agreed that it was on the tune. And now we have a leg and filter LT5 motor with Frankenstein top end that has capabilities of 2,000 to the wheel. Um, Ray and Christian are tag teaming this thing. And leg and filters flying out there, fucking tuner to come tune this car next week. So... You guys will have this car. We'll have a whole episode um, for that next week, showing the whole process of leg and filter being in the building and us going to the dyno. Um, here we got we got Kyle. He's been waiting for about four or five months to get in here. This is a it's a full bolt-on build. E we've got a four innovations fuel system on it. Cam, yada yada yada, all the fucking goodies. Um, we've got all the fucking cooling mods on this thing, and, and this thing's gonna be a monster. Uh, Christian is, is helping with Ray this too because both of these cars got to be ready by Friday. So they're tag teaming these cars going back and forth. Um, so you'll see both of these things uh, tuned on, on Friday and Monday respectively. My car, my car, T's car sitting here. Let's go to Walter's car. Walter's car is going to get a whole episode two for just his. But I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Still his 408 stroker. We kept the short block. We did a cam swap, did a, a, a centrifugal BTR uh, cam swap. Um, this is a, a, a crazy combination of, uh, of accessories, pretty much mimicking what we did with Roach's car. F1A94 blower, Frankenstein uh, Sax B Shop Edition heads with the Frankenstein intake, Holly 105 throttle body. This fucking thing's gonna be a monster, a fucking monster. So you guys all know Walter can drive. He's a shithead, but he can drive. So uh, be on the lookout for this. This thing will get its own episode just as long as, just as well as as, as the Palmer Signs ZR1. That'll get its own episode. And uh, Cash is obviously fucking 
ready to get the fuck out of here. He wants me to play with him. So I'm going to tell Grim, get the fucking, fucking camera out of my face and I'm out of here. So be on the lookout. We'll get back to fucking uh, uh, builds. We're also, Grim wants to do uh, Sleepy's cars. So we'll start getting back to that because I bought two new cars in the last six weeks. Y'all have a good day. Uh, what do you like, subscribe, and all the other bullshit that, nah, that you fucking uh, YouTube motherfuckers do? Do all that shit, man. Please support us, man. We'll see y'all later, man. Go fuck yourselves. Have a good night, and all that other shit.